And if you're a 76ers fan, I feel sorry for you guys. <laughs> and the fact that the team might not even play. You is, have a legit uh, superstar. Yeah. Like one of the best centers ever. Yeah. And he's dumb as rocks. Yeah. I like Dr. Umar. Did you see yeah. that? No, I didn't. Oh, oh with the... Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually oh, don't man. agree with it, but yeah. he, he, he's entertaining. Yeah. Well, once in a while, he, yeah. he gets he a few points sense. across. He makes sense. Yeah, yeah. He makes sense. Yeah. Joel B, just to summarize. Yeah. You ain't getting that if you ain't making that money. No. You didn't post that picture and believe that she wanted you based on your looks, buddy. Mm. Nope. God. Hell no. Kawhi Leonard. Oh, boy. Kawhi Leonard. Yeah. So, he's out indefinitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People are saying he should just retire. There's also tampering yeah. from his former trainer, former Clippers trainer. Tampering mm. um, involved because he yeah. got fired. He, he came up with some illegal, what was it, treatments? Yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> And then they asked him why he, he, we finally got an answer. I don't know if it's how yeah. truth, truth worthy it is, why he finally chose the Clippers instead yeah. of staying with Toronto. And for him, he said he wanted to build something special. Yeah. Which hmm. he kind of already had, he right? Did, yeah. Yeah, because whatever. Yeah. That didn't make any sense. We know why he wanted to go to Clippers. Yeah. He wanted to go home. Exactly. You don't have to make an excuse to go home. Just don't, no. just don't. Say you want to build something. Kawhi, don't yeah. make me put you in a category with Joel Embiid. Oh. Please. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. But, oh. Can I just say, though, yeah, I'm yeah. thankful we got Kawhi. He served his purpose. He went home. And we feel like happy parents. Yeah. And he's gone his way. <laughs> he's doing his own thing. Yeah. We got what we wanted. Championship. And that's We got it. the best of Kawhi. Yeah, exactly. The, literally the best part of Kawhi yeah. during that small time span and he wasn't even 100 percent. you know what it's like yeah we got kim k mm. when we were ray j Ooh. before yeah. yeah getting married before getting mm-hmm. a bunch of football players in that <laughs> before getting kanye before the drama yeah you got kim k when she was naturally beautiful damn you know That's, what I mean? The highest Mac yeah. Peaks prote- potential. That's a pretty good claim. Yeah. yeah. I, I would walk around <laughs> claiming that. That's for sure. I know Ray J still does. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, man, man, we really did get Kawhi. Like, we, we may never see Kawhi return to that form ever again. And we don't know if he's going to play ever again. That's right? that's the sad part. Yeah. But, man. Like, I know we always talk about this, like, off mic and stuff, but... You always mention that you think he's still impacted by a lingering injury, and it, mentally, it's kind of just playing it's with his head. Because I'm, I'm old, I'm older than you, so yeah. I not to say I come from experience. Mm. I have no clue what Kawhi is going through. But yeah, my knee, yeah. and my ankle. I'll just wake up one day, yeah, and I can't walk properly. Yeah, I'll wake up other days and be like, okay, I know today will be. Cool day. Right. But I know if I walk a little much or I do a little much, my ankle will start getting sore. True. I'll start limping. And then I'll say, I, I won't walk for the rest of the day. Yeah. But nothing's wrong with my ankle. I think it's just maybe some injury back in the True. past or some ligament to just keep re-injuring itself yeah. as I walk or as I... You know what I mean? It's Yeah. It just comes back. So when he gets the inclination, oh, something's hurting, mm. he's probably like... Yeah. I don't want this to affect me. True. He has old man bones. He does, yeah. <laughs> because he, like, he's still not that old, but he's still also... He's not young. He's not young, yeah. right? But he's also at that point where he could be one injury away from retiring. And yeah. that's it, right? So mentally, that probably does take a toll on him where he's like, I don't know. He maybe feels like he's maybe 75 80% but you know if you're 80% there's still 20% that yeah yeah you're not you're not and there. he probably knows too he doesn't want to go on court and yeah. feel like he can't play Kawhi basketball exactly you know what yeah. i mean cuz Kawhi is Kawhi like Kawhi is Kawhi healthy Kawhi is one of the best in the league best in the league like hands down top 5 all time yeah right for sure yeah for sure 
But, oh, man, I, I, I feel for him, but uh, there's a part of me, though, that, and again, with some of the details that we've been hearing with the lawsuit, the Clippers, allegedly, yeah. were basically just bypassing everything that the medical staff was advising, doctors were advising, kind of just wanted him out there. Yeah. Like, I understand, you know, you're investing a lot of money in your player, Kawhi, who is obviously, he is the team. Um, and they built around him. But at some point, you, I think, weren't they thinking, like, he could be one injury away from, that's it. And the same trainer yeah. was the one claiming tampering. Yes. Even in the Spurs days when he was having problems, yeah. they were involved in contacting Kawhi, see if he yeah. wants to come to the Clippers. But unfortunately, a trade didn't happen. He did come to Toronto. Yeah. And they were still in contact with him. Mm -hmm. That's what the same, what's his name? Sheldon, Mr. Sheldon. Yeah. Randy Shelton. Yeah, Randy Shelton. But yeah, I guess the anxiousness of you finally got the player you've been looking for yep. for years. He's here. Yeah. He did all this great stuff with um, Toronto. I guess the yeah. momentum of Toronto coming to Clippers. You, yeah. could, you could tell like Steve Ballmer, the Clippers oh, fans, yeah. they probably felt like, oh my God, yeah. we have an amazing next few years with Kawhi. And look at who they added. They mm -hmm. added... Um, so when they added uh, Kawhi, there's Paul George, Paul there's George. James Harden, there was Russell Westbrook, right? That was a good team. They also had who else did they? Have? They added Lou Williams coming off did the bench. Did they have as well. like uh, what's his name? Six Man of the Year, Lou Williams. Yeah, was Lou on Williams. That team. Yeah, 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 yeah. He. Uh, they so, had the coach. Yes, Tyron Lou. Yeah, the proper coach. They had good. everything set. They did. Like you would say, going into that season where Kawhi left the Raptors, yeah. you know that season, look at everyone's yeah. picking Clippers. Yeah, right? for sure. I, I thought on the Clippers paper, would have been a lock. On paper, they were champions. But you got to play the game, right? You don't win championships sure. on paper. Hell no. Oh. That's, that's for sure. But, man, I, I think for the Clippers, this is a learning experience for them. Because with Kawhi... He could just say tomorrow he's calling it quits. He's done, right? Right. You and never I, know with Kawhi. You never know, right? Mm -hmm. Or he might just shut him down for the season, come back next season, and he could be the best player in the league. You don't know what you could you get. You don't know. Right? But every season you run the risk of him getting older. Exactly. You know what yeah. I mean? Losing his touch. Yeah. You know. You lose you lose the risk of losing good players. Yeah. Like James Harden is on the tail end of his career. Yeah, they re Tyron Lue basically said we need James Hart, the Houston version yeah. of James Harden. <laughs> PG's gone. He's gone. But P Norman Powell. Yes. Yeah, I like the him, bright man. Yeah, star yeah. in this, right? Yeah. The bright star. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? I think that's Westbrook is also gone Westbrook too. Westbrook is gone. So yeah. they have some pieces there that I don't think if they were to make the playoffs, even with Kawhi, I don't think that will get them past the first round. Yeah. But I think if they maybe were to add a few pieces, I think potentially. But again, you don't know. It's do you do you build this season with Kawhi potentially knowing he may or may not play at all, or do you just say shut it down this season and we're going to be back for the twenty twenty five another season? Like probably. you know what I mean? And then Harden's getting older. Um, who knows what his contract situation is, right. right? He might be looking at this and saying, well, if Kawhi might not play, we might not make the playoffs. Yeah. I want to trade. Look at what he was coming out of with um, the 76ers, right? So, you know, you have so many pieces that you just don't know. And if Paul George did stay, yeah. he's out? Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. What's worse? Is it worse having a star, two stars, superstars, but they can't play. Mm. So you're just kind of coasting in the season, yeah. trying to be good, trying to make it yeah. to the playoffs. Or is it better to just have shitty players yeah. start from scratch? At least I know I'm building from something. Because they don't mm. really have a point where they can say, it's always like if. The yeah. totem pole gets moved all the time, right? Yeah. Like, they're they're decent. They're good enough to make the, uh, what is it, the play-in? Play-in. Play-in, which... I mean, it's almost like a wild card yeah. kind of thing, but I don't know. Like I, but they're not they're not terrible enough where they could tank. And that's the thing. Like they're they're still a decent team, yeah. right? I mean, 
I think they'll still finish decent, decent mid, spot. But mid lower, just make it in be. playoffs. But again, it's like okay, let's just say if Kawhi comes, let's say come the new year, let's say yeah. he starts playing in January, right, and he's cleared medically, whatnot. And let's say the Clippers are, you know, let's say a eighth, between eight and ten spot, uh, eighth and ten seed, right? At that point, like, what do you do? Do you just say we're going for it, or you say well, let's just scale back? Because I think they yeah. know if they get in the playoffs, yeah, they can with a healthy Kawhi, yeah, and James Harden playing, yeah, James Harden, they can beat anyone. True, very true. Right? If they face the Nuggets in the first round, yeah. Dallas. Ooh. Maybe Phoenix has their year, yeah. their good run this year. Who knows? <laughs> Phoenix. They can, but yeah. I don't think they fear anyone. With yeah. Kawhi, you don't fear anyone. But no. it's what version of Kawhi are you going to get? He's yeah. going to play game one, injure it himself, that's come back to game. And that's that's a sucky thing. Yeah. Yeah. So speaking of Kawhi, kind of want to get your thoughts on load management. Okay. Right? And this will lead into another topic <laughs> very soon. But... When so load <laughs> management, when I heard of it, it was something fairly new over the past however many, yeah. let's say, but Kawhi five brought, to ten seasons. Kawhi, it's it's because of Kawhi. It right? was Kawhi, right? And when we came to the Raptors, like load management, okay, and he's kind of sitting out every so often and whatnot. It was something that was new to the league. Yeah. Nick Nurse was all for it. It seemed like because again, he's your star player. Stars aligned for the Raptors, right? Telling you, it worked. But now, like I think back to it with load management with Kawhi and I'm thinking like like what if because I felt like when he was with the Clippers they were he was playing yeah. playing 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 I didn't really see that load management much I think because they had so many pieces around him they were going for it and obviously it didn't pan out but are you a fan of load management though? No. You're not? No. Really? No. Why? Do you really want to? Yeah. I'm the old school. I'm the old school guy. Mm. Like, I'm sorry, man. Like, it's entertainment, yes, yeah. but it's also a job. You get paid millions of dollars. Mm. If yeah. you are able to play, play. Yeah. It's not that I can play, but I think if I play two games a week or I play less games, I would be more better off later on. Yeah. I think if you're healthy and okay, if you really like a sport, you like you love soccer, you love hockey. Mm. If you were a great player. Didn't, don't you want to play every single game? Very true. Yeah. That's the thing I don't get with load management is the mentality. Like as a sports athlete, I just want to play. Yeah. I just want to play. You know what I mean? I want to prove every night, night in and day that I'm the best player on the floor. Very true. Yeah. I want to have the scoring record. I want to, mm -hmm. if I'm going for the defensive record. Like it, to me, it sounds like regular season records don't, don't, don't matter to these guys no. anymore. You're just playing Not for a chip. All. Yeah. But what what if it comes down to are you going to be Robert Ori? You're going to have like seven NBA championships, <laughs> but you you don't have any artillery. You don't have yeah. anything to back it up to say that you contributed. That's true. You know what I mean? Like yeah, so, when yeah. you compare it to the greats, Jordan, obviously LeBron, they all have regular season awards, yeah. right? Defensive Player of the Year, scoring title, MVP. They're just looking for the chip. Yeah. The chip doesn't quantify you no. alone as the great one of the greats. You have to have those regular season mm -hmm. awards. Oh, 100%. I just feel like it's stupid, and especially yeah. Joel Embiid. Let's just bring yeah. it up. This idiot. <laughs> if you watch our pod, you know yeah. how I feel about Joel yeah. Embiid. I don't think he's the sharpest. He's no. not even a knife. No. Let's not put it. He's a spoon. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Don't even ask them the question. No. He just came out yeah. and says, I'm not going to play back-to-backs. Yeah. Okay, if that was your plan, that was probably internal. Yeah. You don't speak of it. Mm -hmm. Maybe people catch on after the fourth or fifth time. Yeah. And you're like, okay, whatever. You don't come out to the season and say you're not playing back yeah. to back. And now he's not playing. What does he say? The first week of. Yeah. Like he's not playing. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. But you see him practicing. You see yeah. him out on the court, but he's just not playing. Yeah. Scratching his ass, sniffing yeah. it. Like, oh I'm telling you, I, I, I don't understand that. How dumb and could you be? Yeah. Like, he's just a dumb player. He's just god. dumb as nuts. Oh, my God. And now, so not only is he going to be investigated, but I'm pretty sure the 76ers are going to be yeah. investigated as well because... 
And they're like, well, why'd you, yeah. why'd you open your stupid mouth? Like, for like certain things you just don't yeah. talk about. <laughs> I, I, so, I don't know. It just, oh. it makes no sense. But yeah. I think, I understand where he's coming from in the sense of, because that is a sense of load management, right? But I know the NBA doesn't like it because with their TV deals and whatnot, yeah. ESPN wants the best of the best playing. They don't want to have a nationally televised game that everyone's going to tune in. Game Milwaukee, yeah. Sixers. You wanted to see Joel Embiid versus right. Giannis. Exactly. You didn't want to tune in and automatically know Oh, it yeah. was just Giannis or so yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Milwaukee's going to win yeah. by 20 or whatever like that. Exactly. You wanted the hype to build up for right. the game first game of the season. 100%. Oh, my God. My man Ish was at that game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You yeah, saw yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out Ish. Mark Lamont. Yeah. I see you. Yeah. Ish talking out. Wait. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I like Ish, but the man been talking yeah. the whole game. Do you see oh, it? Yeah. Oh, my God. You can sit yeah. near me, but, like, we could talk during yeah. the breaks, but don't, like... Talk your ear off, it. Eh? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> You just missed a like a monster Giannis dunk, and it's like talking about stocks or something. I don't know, real estate or something. It's like, oh, okay, cool, yeah. Don't put twenty percent down. Yeah. For 10. <laughs> Tell you, man. Like, and and think of it too. Like, you're a fan, yeah. right? You're a diehard seventy sixers fan. You expecting, you know, your star player Joel Embiid, and he's not playing. Did, right? the, does it, does it seem like you know Vince Carter had this kind of thing mm. where he. Later on his Raptors career, he said he quit on... People were saying he quit on the Raptors because he wasn't yeah. playing. Does Joel Embiid get the same kind of feeling or the same treatment as mm. he's quitting on his team? Because I do. Yeah. I think that. I think so. Um, I think with the 76ers, like, regular season, they're a good team, but come playoff time... That's where it matters, and he hasn't done yeah. anything. <laughs> like, the, the, the whole joke, or what I look at it as, is... The Raptors destroyed him. Yeah. That that uh, 2019 playoff run that they had. Ever since then, he he still hasn't made it he to the Eastern Conference Finals. No. The farthest he uh, he's made in the 76ers have been um, the second round. The second round, yeah. Right. So, and you got you seen he was crying after like he was distraught, right? But and they added pieces. They had Harden. Yeah. Right. Like you got rid of Simmons. You, you they Maxie's built around him. Amazing. And you guys still haven't got past that. So I think this is a point now where he's kind of... He's a waste of time, but, to be honest with you. And then on the flip side, I look at it, it's like, well, you kind of lower your trade value if you are sitting out games. Like, wouldn't you want to go out there, perform, to show... It, let's just say if you, you're you requesting a trade, you want to go out there, you want to perform to show potential teams out there that this is what I'm capable yeah. of, right? But... Maybe he's looking at the opposite. Like this, he's is a always protest. had this rub on him. Jokic is better than you. Yeah. If if you're if this is your attitude, Jokic yeah. will always be better oh, than you. Oh, for sure. Jokic doesn't complain about Never. minutes, load no. management. He just plays. Yeah. You're the one always looking up and pointing the finger. Yeah. I'm better than you. Jokic doesn't care. No. So shut up and play. Honestly. Like honest to God. Like Stephen A. Kind of defended him. Yeah. Saying. Because Charles Barkley was the one who said you should end Shaq. Yeah. And the inside inside of the NBA is back. Yeah. Final yeah. season, so you guys gotta watch it. It's on fire. Yeah, I know. But yeah, Stephen A's like he's been injured for the last five years. He got a back injury, yeah. hamstring. Every time he's playing, he's getting injured. He should be on restrictions. Yeah. But I don't think Stephen A gets the fact that you shouldn't be coming out and telling yeah. people I don't want to play exactly. or I'm not playing. Yeah. That's between you and your team. If that's the plan. That's the plan. Now yeah. you got the NBA investigating you. Mm -hmm. Now you have fans looking at it. I don't need to watch this yeah. game. It's a, it's the it's the on the back to back. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not watching this game. I'm not coming. Yeah. I'm not oh, paying three hundred, four hundred dollars no. just to watch us lose. ESPN wouldn't like to hear that either. Exactly. The NBA doesn't want to. Like, there's billions of dollars on the so table. They dumb. want the cream of the crop to play. And even if you're not going to play, don't say that. He's the worst. Okay, he's the worst friend to have. Yeah. He's probably this guy. Like, yeah. you know, if you, whatever, you have your girl and maybe yeah, yeah. like you were a bit flirtatious. Yeah. He was with you at the club. Oh, my God. He's that yeah. guy that will slip up and be yeah. like, we were at the club last yeah. night. You should have saw oh. JR. He was a top. Yeah. What the like. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your mouth, man. Oh, That's him. Oh, definitely. That's him. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs>
Joel Embiid just gets dumber and dumber. And he's going to say something else. Though. Yeah. He's going to say something like, oh, I, for sure. I deserve the MVP yeah. because I played 20 games this season yeah. and I averaged 40 points. And even on that, too, like the NBA over the past several years or seasons, they've cracked down where uh, if you are, t- in order to be eligible for MVP, you have to play a minimum, I think. 65 or 62. 65, something yeah. like that, yeah. games. Well, he's already um, out, right? Because that, or very close. I. It's like 15 games, yeah. so it, he's like really close. He's like on, he has to play the rest of the season. Basically, But yeah. basically, he's out the first week, so he's yeah. done. He's done. And also, too, like even to be first NBA All-Star, second uh, team All-Star, like these are things that also impact your contract. This could determine if you are a max versus super max. So it's like, what did you want? So stupid. But, hey, you know what? Maybe he knows what's best. I don't know. He but. doesn't know anything that's best. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I still think, though, it's a bad look. And if you're a 76ers fan, I feel sorry for you guys. <laughs> and the fact that the team might not even play. You in, have a in, legit uh, superstar. Yeah. Like, one of the best centers ever. Yeah. And he's dumb as rocks. Yeah. I like Dr. Umar. Did you see yeah. that? No, I didn't. Oh, with the... Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually oh, don't man. agree with it, but yeah. he, he, he's entertaining. Yeah. Well, once in a while... He, yeah, he gets. He makes sense. He makes, yeah, yeah. he makes sense. Yeah. Joel Embiid, just to summarize. Yeah, you ain't getting that if you ain't making that money. No, you didn't post that picture and believe that she wanted you based on your looks. Yeah, but yeah, boy. Nope. God. Hell no. Whew. 